Hello, Mario's Web Crap of the Week, Season 4, Episode 30. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Web crap of the week. This is the program where we collate all the crap that's appeared on our screens this week into one large little collation and uh, put it together for you with uh, a few comments. If you are easily offended, please stop viewing now. Some of our material is risque, not safe for work, and may offend some people. If you think you're in that sort of category, stop viewing now. Go and watch something else. We don't want to offend you, but at the same time, we want to express our little risque, man-centered, possibly, sorry ladies, misogynistic, material maybe um, but we treat everyone fairly we uh, we respect nobody <laughs> well we do we have boundaries but yeah you know the deal so anyway let's uh, let's get on with the show but uh, and head on over to the big screen for a word from our sponsor Betty Betty is one of the uh, in one of our slides today and so well, who better person to, you know, tell you to like and subscribe to Mario, one of the stars of Web Crap of the Week, Betty. Thanks, Betty, and well, we look forward to seeing you a little bit later on. All good. Cheers. Now, let's, uh, let's get on with the show. Yes, I saw this come up. During the week, I thought, hmm, I've got to use that on Web Crap of the Week. The old warning sign. Yes, sometimes we do offend people. I think all humour sort of is intended to upset somebody. Well, most of it, anyway. Except perhaps this one here. Very clever. Very intellectual. Yes, if it goes over your head, don't worry. We've school got. We'll have something for you a bit later. Something for you a bit later on. A couple of fart jokes coming up. Everybody laughs at a fart joke. Hmm. Now this would work. Somebody's been thinking about this. Poor old cat looks a wee bit bewildered, but. Hmm. That would work, in my opinion. Nice sound advice here. Yes. Where do you eat? Where do you eat? <laughs> oh. Yes, this one's for Mars. This one's for Mars. <laughs> yes, an electric Harley. I'm sure Mars wouldn't be seen. Dead on electric Harley. Unless, of course, it shorted out and, well, he was dead on an electric Harley. Yes. The world view from the perspective of animals. We've got a couple of those tonight. Interesting when you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Hardened professional. Hmm. Yes. Kids can be so demanding. <laughs> There's Popeye and olive oil. Uh, <laughs> yes, he. I think he. Yes. I've seen a meme about his pipe as well. <laughs> Popeye the sailor man. The Don, yes, had a bit of a victory this week. Well, that's what we're hearing down here. No collusion. <laughs> uh, 
Hmm. I'm seriously thinking of trying this. Seriously thinking of trying this. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, the old motivational speaker. Yes. Oh, yes. Again, from the perspective of animals, what well, this is a bizarro, a bizarro, I think. Yeah. Nice, nice, very nice. And this one here, I love this. <laughs> Fish having fun. Look at the little smile on the. One of them, the lower one there. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, a fart joke without the word fart in it. Gary Larson, one of the greats. I think it's Gary Larson. 12181. Hmm. Oh, 21st of the 1st, 81. Mm. Yes, and this from the point of view of vegetables. Hmm, interesting. Ca uh, yes, yes. Hmm. <laughs> A cat does not look happy. Oh, I like this. Yes, love it. Yeah, again, I think that's another Larson one. Yeah, clever man, that Larson. Mmm, <laughs> marshmallows. This one's, yeah, very good and very uh, relevant. Relevant. I might keep this one. I do like this one. I do like this one. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> yes. And this one? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I haven't seen this one before. I've seen other ones. The different names, but... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think any of these have really caught on, but, you know, a bit of reading, I guess. This, however, he makes a very good point. And this here, I think Moz might uh, very much like this. These sort of um, fasteners that you need for screw-ups, basically. I've pretty much seen all those. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> yes, very... Um, I think that's in the fitter world uh, mechanical engineering thing. Yes, yes. Hmm. Yeah, got me. Got me. And here's Betty. Told you her name was Betty. <laughs> yeah. I won't say any more. I like this one. Yes, I, I was over in Tauranga. They had a band at the one of the pubs called um, this one called Piston Broke. Very good. Very clever. I did like it at the time. Not as my... my. I told my wife that because she, she's in bands and ever talking about names. This was one, but obviously taken. I wanted... I thought a cover band called the Tarpaulins would be pretty awesome, but no, she didn't like it. <laughs> yes... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. But, like, too late. <laughs> yes. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Again. Uh, who's this one? Oh, Vic Lee. 
don't know who he is. Very good. And Bizarro again. Yes. Hmm, very nice. And uh, the title, To Mock a Killing Bird. Ooh, good stuff. Oh, I love this one. Mr. Technically Correct Man. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to help. Yes. There's some quite good ones there. Not deceased, dimensionally challenged. Hmm. There's none so dead as those who will not live. Put a lot of effort into that. Put in the eye and die. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, this one, I had a little snigger at this one. It did crack me up a little bit. Yes. What with all the um, carry on these days with gender and what have you. Hmm. Amongst it all, the ability to laugh at oneself, a little bit of humour. And this one, yes, I did love this. Very good. The Avant Guard Dog. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And the, the just the the dress of it. Yeah, very good, very clever. Poor old AOC, another one here. There's two in a row actually. Um yeah. Hmm. I wonder what will I'm not I don't know what will become of her. Um I think she'll either go big or go home. Or both, maybe. And uh, yes, mm, sort of a, a two for a two for one there. Um, yeah. And this one, this marvelous one here. I'm not sure whether this is a Larson or not. I think this might be a Larson as well. And mm mm. <laughs> Nice to know information that, um, you know, handy information. Seems a little bit pricey to me. Club, corp, club card points, though. Uh, yes. <laughs> Intriguing. And now, from far north Queensland, here's Moss. One of his four contributions this week. Well done, Moz. Thank you very much. Motorbike themed a little bit. Oh, three contributions. No, four. Four, I think. Four, yes. And this one here, yeah. Never give up. Never give up. I like that. That's attitude. That is attitude. And this one here. Yep. Bloody government. Bastards. Leave me alone. And that brings us to Isaac the Kids page. Here's Isaac. Isaac, I don't know which one to choose. I guess it's up to you. Dad for excitement and adventure and the possibility of getting seriously hurt or mum for some conservative photographic action at the zoo. You be the judge. Choose widely or granddad for some absolutely outrageous stuff unpredictable at who knows where yeah all good have a good week enjoy yourself thanks to everybody for watching commenting liking and subscribing do comment love your comments 
tell us your favorite piece of crap or perhaps you've got a little bit of crap stored away somewhere in your um, archives send it my way give it some exposure well it might become famous I mean I got whoa I don't know I almost got 10 views last week so imagine that you know if I tell 10 people and they well tell 10 people and they tell 10 people I don't know. Who knows what could happen? Let's see what happens. And so, here it is, Mario, signing off. See you, see you later. Thanks for your support. Appreciate it. See you next week. Same time, same channel. <laughs> same, same crap. Well, slightly different. All good. Cheers. See you. It's the whip half of the week. It's the whip half of the week. Oh, the, 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 that's all, folks. Well, this has been a Mario presentation recorded live in our studio at Narawa here, capital of the Waikato district. A small district towards the top of the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand. The land of the long white cloud, a place where Kiwis live, a place that we like to call God's own country.